Well, President Donald Trump is zeroing in on the blue collar vote as he heads into the next Republican presidential primaries. He got South Carolina and Michigan. Trump spent the weekend in Michigan talking to about 2,000 auto workers, touting his plan to bring new life into America's auto industry. Take a listen. And we want to bring manufacturing back. You know, you've lost already 54 percent over the years, 54 percent of auto manufacturing, and you're going to lose the rest of it very fast. A lot of it coming out of Michigan, a lot of it coming out. So we're going to get it back. So joining me now is James Golden, also known as Bo Snurdly, radio host at WABC, uh, radio and author. Uh, I'm going to call you Bo, if that's OK. Welcome to the show, sir. Well, thank you, Mark. You Bo is, of course, wonderful. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Um, let's get straight to it. I mean, Bo, this is a, a man who's used to having his name emblazoned in gold on everything from his own skyscrapers, private planes. What's your immediate response to those who say, how does a billionaire possibly begin to relate to the blue collar? Well, he related to the blue collar, which is why he became a billionaire. Uh, Donald Trump has always been uh, with the construction trade. He didn't do it from the ivory towers. This was a guy that did it from the ground up and had a great relationship with blue collar workers all the way around. Mm -hmm. Now, I've, I've been reading, I saw an AP story the other day, uh, does Donald Trump have a path to the, uh, to the blue collar vote? No, he doesn't. He has a highway. It's a huge highway. Right now, Marky, there are, let's see, Two-thirds of blue-collar workers are living from paycheck to paycheck. That is a huge difference when um, you contrast that with how they were performing during the Trump years. You look at the right track, wrong track, uh, track poll that came out. We have never seen numbers this dismal for people, including blue-collar workers, who think America's on the wrong track. You look at uh, what is taking place on the borders. Certainly, blue-collar people are very aware that their cities are being invaded and flooded. They're aware of the ramifications that services are being cut for Americans. And this government looks helpless to try to even contain its own borders, while at the same time demanding multi-billion dollars for overseas foreign aid. Yeah. A lot and of people see this tougher on crime, too. Most, yeah. Yeah, look at the crime. But then, Mark, you look at something else. Blue collar workers go to the supermarket. And no matter what the mainstream press tries to do to cover the fact that inflation has been out of control, people know it. Donald Trump doesn't have to tell them. They're, when they go to the checkout, they see it and they're tired of it. Joe Biden, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, started talking about the shrinking packages which was stunning because, according to the Biden administration, everything's fine. But, yeah, so now you're getting less product, it costs you more, and there's no end in sight. Mm. This is not a path to the blue-collar workers. It's a highway. And a lot of people see him as a uh, full speed ahead. You know, uh, the other thing I wanted your take on, Bo, Art Wheaton, who's the director of labor studies at Cornell University, told the Associated Press that about 30 to 40 percent of Teamsters union members voted for Trump back in 2020, even though the union itself had backed Biden. How much does that official endorsement matter to rank-and-file members of any union these days? It doesn't. Look, if most of these rank and file guys could get out of this union and still hold on to their jobs and their salaries, they'd be out. They wouldn't want to be. The, the union represents itself and the Democrat Party. The rank and file workers, as you see, live life. They're the ones going to the supermarkets. They're the ones that are looking at their country being taken over hostily. So, what has happened is this disconnect between union bosses and the people that actually do the work. And the people that do the work now are voting with their feet. They're voting with their pocketbooks. And that's why those numbers were high before. I predict to you, Marky, they're going to be much higher this time. And by the way, something else has happened, too. This racial stranglehold that the Democrat Party has had is coming to an end as well. Now you have shifts in black and Hispanic votes. So this is going to be a, it's a rare election because we have two presidents with track records that can be contrasted. And this is going to be one that uh, where the results, if it's a fair election, 
will, I think, stun the Democrat Party. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.